So finally, there are a lot of customizations, features. Uh, we are finally getting all of them in one custom room. We are talking about Evolution XOS, the latest version that is based on Android 16 QPR 1. It's not based on QPR 2, unfortunately, but it's still quite good. If you want to give it a try, link is available in the description for many devices. It's available officially. Some other devices got unofficial version. As I had said at the starting of the video, I've told you that now we are getting a lot of features and customizations. Yes, if you move on to Evolver, all the features, all the customizations like theming, lock screen, status bar, quick settings, panel, and a lot more extra things are already present in this case. The default launcher, if you move on here, in this case is Pixel Launcher. So if you're looking forward to that Launcher 3, it's not that it's Pixel Launcher, which is okay. Also, the quick settings panel having similar options. One thing you will notice that we have separate Wi-Fi and mobile data tiles also available. If you love to use these kind of things, that is also one of the advantages of using a custom ROM. Because yes, you can do this in some other devices too with the help of Shizuku, a third-party app also. But by default, getting this thing is something really good, something quite underrated. Pixel Launcher already have a new UI in recent panel. Everything is already included. Let's have a quick look at some of the features and customizations included. If you move on to theming options, you have the option to customize the lock sounds and unlock sounds. Quite underrated thing. It's available so you can go and explore. If you move on to fonts customization, the new UI is already there. And also including that, we have a custom font option available. So if you have your own fonts, you can apply them on your device directly. So yes, that's also quite good. Simply move on to font styles, apply any one of these fonts and done. If we move on to other options, everything is just kind of similar. We also have some icon shape customizations there, which is already available. And by the way, if you use Android 16's latest QPR2, which is not available in a custom room right now, you'll also see icon shapes there too in the Pixel Launcher pre-installed. So that's good. We also have some boot animation customizations. We also have this charging ripple shape. So you get nothing animation. Whenever you plug your device to charging, you will see new animation. And that is inspired from nothing OS. We have some other options available too. Lock screen, similar options. We have the option for smart space. If you want to use it, you can. Now playing, even if your device does not have by default, you get this in the lock screen customization section. Media cover art option is also present. We have pulse visualizer. We have some tweaks related to weather update. If you want to enable this thing. And by the way, if you need to, if you want to enable weather update, you have to turn off smart space. So remember that. Status bar already has a lot of features and customizations. All the features what you are looking forward to are back. Like we have the option for clock customization. We also have a battery bar customization present. So if you want to use one of these features, you can. I still remember uh, using this battery bar customization in past time. 105, Android 6 times were there. But now things have been changed. I don't use these features much, but it's available. So just wanted to let you know. Battery percentage finally have some tweaks. In the latest QPR1, we either have one option, which is battery percentage enable or disable. But in this case, the option to enable the battery percentage outside the icon or inside the icon, both of these options are present. Quick settings panel, similar options. We have the option to customize the quick setting tiles shape. Also the brightness slider shape, you have all these options present. If you want to change the tiles shape, you have three or four options available, which is good. And you can even customize the rows and columns. So. If you are using a custom ROM, you need these features, these kind of things. And the custom ROM named as Evolution XOS has all of these. If you move on to notification section, we have the support for edge lighting. If you use this feature, it's available here. You can go and explore this thing, including this edge lighting. If you move on to other options, by the way, you can even customize edge lighting further. Power menu does not have extra tweaks. It's kind of similar. We have the option to enable advanced reboot, which you have to, by the way and show on secure lock screen, make sure to turn it off. Component spoofing. What about spoofing? We have all most similar features available like Google Photos spoofing, Snapchat spoofing. One or two features are still missing, but it's okay. I don't think so many of you will use all the spoofing options, but it's available. And a play integrity, you just have to find a working key box and good to go. Other than else, if you move on to security bypass features like no storage restrict, application downgrade, all these options are also present. Ignore Windows Secure Flags is also here. So there are a lot of features and customizations already present. So these were things just wanted to let you know. Other than else, we have a lot of other features available too. 
like app lock, game space, sidebar, all the features which you are looking forward to in a custom room, most of them are present in this customer. If you want to check it out, you can links available in the description. This is it. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video. If you like this, make sure to drop a like. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe the channel. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.